Hi, I'm Ricky, and, uh, and I'm Gentleman of Oaths, getting my hair cut by Dave. Right. Okay, what are we doing then, Ricky? So I've got half um, like medium to low sort of skin fade. Yeah. And then uh, mm -hmm. uh, not too much off the top. Just, just, the the top. just the trim on the top, yeah? And yeah. just the foil as well on the, so on the neck, yeah. No worries. What are you up to today? Okay, I'm just going to create a baseline in the number two. <laughs> Dave's definitely not leaving. Yeah, man. I got that contract of employment last night and I just thought, hmm, coffee coaster. Yeah. <laughs> Eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. Morning. Morning, morning. So I was using a C motion when I'm flicking out on that. Okay, so second guideline number one. Yeah, we're going to bring it out. Okay, now I'm going to work out my point, my zero, and my one. So I'm going to blend with a 0.75 and then a 0.5 to get rid of that weight there. Yeah, you see that line disappearing even with a five, that's because he's got quite fair hair. Darker hair would need a lot more a lot more work on it to be honest. <laughs> Now, there's a little bit of just uh, like a little bit of weight there that I can see. So I don't, I'm not going to go straight in with a zero or a two. I'm just going to pick it out slightly with like a point one, just on that one little section because nothing else needs it. It'd be too heavy-handed to go in with a with a clipper again on I just when well, I just need to remove that little bit of weight. The yeah. Okay, now I'm going to work on the zero, on the foil, the double zero, should I say. So I'll just remove any hair at the bottom. I'm just going at the bottom of the fade here, just literally flicking out so that my foils don't grab the hair. Hair's nice and short when I foil. Because he's had like a, uh, a low kind of slash medium fade, there isn't much to foil. So normally I, on, on this kind of, kind of fade, I'd just flick out just the bottom with the foils. But say it was a higher fade, I'd have actually put a section in with, with a, a guideline with a, with a foil and then I blended the foil from double zero foil to 0.1 with this, but that's not necessary on this cut. Again, just flicking out with that like C motion. You don't want to be putting lines in. You can go down as well with a foil to try and smooth out any any marks or um, lines that you do put in. I was always taught to go down first and then to flick up on the way back up. So down first so that you're smoothing the hair. And then back up to blend. Some irritation is, is often with this, often occurs. But you just put a bit of alcohol at the end and it'll make sure it's sealed and there's no bacteria on that fade. So I can see a line here that I've put in with the with the detailer. With the sorry, with the foil. 
and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that line with this when you have tools as well you kind of you learn what blends what so sometimes say I use the wild foil I can't blend the wild foil with this super liner it just doesn't it just doesn't work whereas I'd use the and this pro foil for this for the wall um, foils for blending the line out so different tools work with different different um, combinations work really well and that's that the weight's gone from that so now next we're going to blend out this we're going to take this two a little bit higher and we're going to blend the one into the two using a 1.5 guard Are you taking anything off the top? Yeah. I will take some off the top, yeah, it's only, a, it's only a light trim, but at the moment, I, what I want to kind of have here, I want shape. I'm trying to create shape at sides as well. I don't want it just to go straight up, like no, a lot no, of... Uh, that's because I want it to know. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, of course. It's only a little bit off the top, though, isn't it, just trim, yeah. Now this two and a half is just letting me take my fade a little bit higher. Um, sometimes I decide if I want to, how high I want the size to go, kind of at the end of the fade. So I'll put a guideline in, but I may move it up slightly as the cut goes on. So 1.5 guard. And then I'm going to put it into 1.75 position. This hair is really, really easy to fade. This kind of light, coarse hair. But other hair may need a lot more, lot more work on a fade like this. So particularly here now, I'm going to work on this, this area here. So I can feel that the occipital bone is there. So I've took my fade just below the occipital bone because I can see the shape of the head can warrant me blending out. So, but I have a dark patch here, which I'm going to take out with a 1.25. Now I'm not going, I'm not digging in the head here. I'm literally just flicking out. It's really easy to move up your fade as well. And then you end up having to take fade higher and higher and higher. So always just make sure that you're, you're being minimal with your strokes. <laughs> not your vinegar stroke. <laughs> okay, now we're going to work on that sideburns, blend it in, and then we'll get to the top here. So 1.5, just finding what kind of depth, what kind of length that needs to be to blend it in. So drop it down to a 1. So I always try and blend up from the ear, from the bottom of the ear. So I'll put my 1.5 in the bottom of the ear and work up, and that way you don't end up with blended sideburns that are wonky. And then ball closed. Now I'm going to take off the guard. Run that at half, so half closed lever. And then I'm going to finish it with a zero. So it's just a light trim on the top, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Same kind of style, yeah. With forward, forward yeah, movement. Going to the left and just sort of mess up a bit. Going that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a section straight across there. Because I'm cutting, because he's having the hair forward, I'm going to cut the hair from the back to the front, so in the direction of the cut, of the cut, of the style. Sorry. 
going to trim that. So I'm point cutting so that you get lots of texture into this because he likes a messy style on the top. So I'll pull that board next. Take a snippet from my last section. And it lets me see where I need to cut. I normally leave the hair slightly, I cut at an angle. If he wants the style to go that way, I'll be cutting at an angle, just a slight angle there so the hair is, is higher on this, in the centre of the head than it is on the side. That kind of helps with um, styling as well. And the front always needs to be longer. Yeah. Pull that up. Put it at like a 20 degree angle. <laughs> now I'm going to just comb the hair nice and forward so that I can see what needs to come off. I know he hasn't got to take any more off the top. But I've got the sides to work on now and also the fringe. So the fringe might have a little bit more, but I want to dry that first and pull that down. See what I can take off it when it's dry. But now we're working on these areas here. So I like to leave that bit forward because I know that I want to cover that section of hair there. I don't want to, I don't want to ever take that short and let it expose the recession area here. So I like to hold that down. And I'll pull that back. <laughs> and now if you come out this side, Carlos, you see that. Well, that's disappearing anyway, that angle on the hair. You can see it straight away, just from doing what I'm doing. So now I'm just going to scissor over comb, straight over here, using a nice wide, wide comb. So seven inch scissors. I'm using my mirror just to check that I've got a nice kind of shape to the hair here and it's equal on both sides because what I wouldn't want is it to be kind of lumpy here or lumpy up here and I can see there that it's nice on both sides so it's even all the way around. I've kept my guidelines have helped me create a real even fade and my blending's working nice on top here as well. And then by pulling that section back and cutting around, I've kept this length here, which is what I was trying to do. So that I haven't cut this short, I wanted this hair long here. Now if I'd have just pulled, started pulling hair back from here, I would have chopped all that off. Okay, I like to finish off um, any blending with just 20% thinning scissors, just because it takes out any imperfections. This is not essential and it can be done with just scissor over comb, but it does take a lot of time. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of texture. You can see how thick that hair is there, look. It's a really blunt line. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse, reverse texture the hair. This might feel a bit weird, I can cut all your hair off, but I'm not, okay? So I'm not actually cutting the hair, I'm just cutting little bits. That also, that's adding the texture again. Okay, before I style it, I'm just going to lay up the edges, make it nice and tight around here, just trim that neckline, and then I'm going to stick a bit of uh, Beer Brand Sea Salt Spray in it and dry it so that it, it's set. I normally just edge up the eyebrow while I'm here as well. Finishing touches, and now we're ready to style.
I believe we're right at the end, yeah. Oh well, it's cool. No problem. So blow drying hot first. Take a round brush. How does that feel, mate? Oh, yeah. Perfect. And then I just like to seal, seal the bat with a bit of a bay rum. Okay. How do I for you? Sweet. Cheers, man. Nice to meet you, Ricky. Yeah, and Jake. After this, after this. Yeah. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.